In this video, I'm going to show you how this awesome app lets you create all of your AI scenes in one organized workflow. So you don't have to waste time doing them separately one by one to easily create long form AI videos. It has some incredible features that are really fun to use. I'll show you its unique capabilities and some types of videos you can make, which I'm sure will benefit you. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so let's jump straight onto the website. This software is free to use, but you can use your own money if you want to add more tokens. First of all, I'll show you the explore page. And here they've got a really good variety of templates to use. And each style is very unique and has a really cool look to it. So let's have a look at the Ghibli style. All you have to do is click on use this template. And this is what I love about this website, as you can create all your videos in one easy to use page. So I'm using my mouse wheel here to scroll in and out, which allows you to easily zoom in and out of your videos here. And you can change your name of your shots here. So this one's shot two, even though it's the first one. But anyway, you can change that and add descriptions. And you can also move these shots around. So if you want that one first, you can move it there. And it's just a really nice visual timeline that they've got. So for this template, I guess they've used this image of a swing on a tree. And if you click here, you can see the video. And it's just got a nice animation of the swing swinging. And you can see what settings they've used there. And underneath, you can see there's some options here. So we've got reprompt, regenerate, style transfer, which we'll get to shortly, and lip sync, which we will get to shortly also. And here they have motion brush. So if you click on that, you can use this to animate any part of the image you want. And you can erase it. The only problem with this motion brush is there's no option to change the size of the brush and you're kind of stuck with this really big fat pen mark and it takes up a lot of the image. So if you just wanted to make a micro adjustment, it might be quite difficult. And then if we come down here, they've got timeline, which brings up this panel here. Now, this is really cool as you can drag in any of your videos from above and create a kind of edit of all the videos together. Then when you place them in the order that you want, you can then play it as one whole video. And then you can download this. And it just saves you from having to take all these videos and put them into a video editor. You can do it all within this app. And look just how good these eggs look. It's nailed that Studio Ghibli style. So make sure to check out these templates as they can offer some really cool ideas. Okay, so let's have a look at creating our own project. Let's just name this Atomic. I'll keep it at 16 by nine aspect ratio. And you can either start from scratch, upload images to turn into videos, or do video style transfer. So I've put in a prompt for a epic fantasy landscape. And if you click the settings button here, you can choose what camera motion you want. So I'll just leave it blank for now. And I'll choose three seconds and have motion at four. And click this button to generate. Okay, so let's have a look at the shot. And it's added just a nice subtle movement to the image. Now you could regenerate that again and add more motion into it. And all you have to do to do that is click on regenerate. Or you could reprompt it. Now let's have a look at the style transfers that you can use. So if you click on that, you have a host of really cool options. So all the way from anime, pixel art, comic, water, tulip, chocolate milk, feather, mushroom, realistic, cyberpunk, clay, oil painting, and more. It's a really wide variety of video styles that they've got included, and they're pretty fun to check out. So I'll try a few and I'll show you the results. So let's check out this pixel style. It looks like something straight out of a 16-bit video game. Here's the 3D animation one. It doesn't look that different actually, but it looks pretty cool still. And this is the anime style one, and it's done a great job at getting that kind of anime look to it. I really love the clouds in the sky on this one. And this is the oil painting one, and it looks just like a Van Gogh painting, to be honest. Okay, and now let's have a look at the lip sync feature. 
So I've created a new timeline here and I've added in some images of some faces. So I've got this man's statue face, a portrait of a woman and a kind of Pixar CGI man's face. Now I've just turned each one of them into a four second video using the video settings here. And then when you click on one, you get these options down here. So let's try the lip sync feature. I've already created a short voiceover in Eleven Labs, which I've downloaded and I'll upload into here. So we'll click on upload voice and it adds it in. So if we have a listen. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Okay, so then just click lip sync. And I'll do the same with these other videos, but using different voices. And it's finished those lip sync videos, so let's check them out. Hi, does this lip sync feature look a high? Does this lip sync feature look a high? Okay, so I should have let the video go a bit longer, but it cut out right at the end. But it didn't look too bad. Let's check out this one. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Hi. Yeah, that looks okay, actually. And let's check out this one. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I think the lip syncing feature is pretty passable. It's not perfect, but it's a nice addition that they've added into the software. You can always choose to regenerate if you're not quite happy with the lip sync result that you got. Now let's have a look at stylizing your videos. So I've got this short four second clip of this woman crossing her arms. I've used the Morph Studios style transfer to turn this video into different styles. So let's check some out. So this is the anime style and it's done a pretty solid effort at turning this into an anime. And remember, you can experiment with the style strength as well here. So I had the style strength just at five on these. And here is a claymation one. This one looks really fun. It's definitely got that claymation style to it. There's a bit of funkiness going on with the lip, but apart from that, I think it looks pretty solid. And here is the pixel art style. This is probably one of my favorite art styles that they have. It's just a really solid style to use. And here are a few more with this portrait of this lady. And this is the difference of having the style transfer strength at 0.5 and at 1. I think I prefer the 0.5 on this anime style here. It does look a lot cleaner compared to the higher strength style. And I tried some of the weirder style transfers as well. So this one was of the tulip style. It's got that nice blend of keeping the original footage and just blending in the style that it's going for. And here we have the mushroom style, which is definitely a unique look with these weird little mushrooms kind of growing out of the face. And again, we have the clay one here and at two different strengths. And again, they look really good. I think I'm a fan of having the strength a bit lower than having it full. And another odd one here, we have chocolate milk. It's kind of creepy actually. Looks more like brown glass, but hey, I guess it's uh, unique. And here is the face, but in pixel art style. It looks straight out of a retro video game. And with these videos, you can also choose to do the lip sync feature as well. So let's try it. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? Let's check out the anime one. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Mm, that one doesn't work as well. It kind of, kind of morphs back and forth between the teeth and the mouth opening. Now let's check out the pixel art one. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. Hi, does this lip sync feature look okay to you? I hope it does. No, it doesn't look too bad. I think it gets better at the end. You can kind of get away with it as it's just pixel art and they don't move that much. So it just shows that you can use the lip sync feature with the style transfer as well. I had this interesting idea to create a short ambient music video and I wanted to use the pixel art style to create different landscapes. So I created all these different images of landscapes 
Morph Studio makes it incredibly easy to add all of your images into one timeline. You just use the batch upload files and then add in up to 10 images or videos and it automatically adds them into your timeline. And then from here, I used the pixel art style transfer and I did that across each video. So now I have some really cool pixel art style videos of different landscapes. I created an awesome looking pixel lens intro title. And then I just used the timeline feature to drag and drop each file into a sequence, which makes it incredibly easy to stitch together all of your videos. Okay, so I'm happy with that video. And then you can just download it here and I'll take it to the free online CapCut video editor. So I'll just drag and drop in that video here. And I also created some music using Udio. So I went for like a retro kind of music style. So let's check it out. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. You could just repeat the shots if you want or add more in and make a kind of chill out music video for YouTube. What I like with Morph Studio is it allows you to kind of create a storyboard for your animation or whatever story you're trying to tell. So like this one here, I've added in images and it's really nice to see the story kind of laid out in front of me all in one go, which is definitely one of its unique selling points. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video and I hope you give Morph Studio a try. I hope they do add some more features in the future just to kind of smooth over those rough edges. But it's really fun to play around with. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you could give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, it would mean the world to us. If you'd like to check out one of our other videos, then feel free to click the image you can see on screen right now. Thanks for watching.